Hey all and how's it going? I hope we're all doing good. So Honkai Star Rail have done it again after everyone is still recovering from the Akiron Black Swan adventure. Um, <laughs> dance, beautiful, incredible video. Ah, um, they've now released the Myriad Celestia for the character I'm presuming, which is Akiron, which is very exciting because I think this is like the lore implications of this character, which people have been theorizing about. I've seen quite a few things in comments and stuff. So I am excited to see what this is about. The trailer is called Kyoiden, a cleave across the transient world. A cleave across our hearts, more like. Very excited about what this character could mean. And yeah, let's just give this a watch. I will catch up with the other Myriad Celestia trailers, by the way. But I want to watch this now. So <laughs> we're just going to watch it now. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Oh my god! To save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. Wait, 12? Wait, that's a significant number in the Honkai universe. The first was truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. Oh, wow! They can teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. Wow! The second was oh. Sky, forged by the Eternal Zenith. It could form a barrier from the firm. That's Void! That's version of Void! I'd recognize those circles anywhere! I've been traumatized by those circles. Are these the Hershers? Oh my god, it is, because there's 12. This is Hersha. This is Hersha's equivalent. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, if you're a Honkai Impact player right now, they're screeching. Sorry. And prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. Oh, wow. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. Stop. There's Wendy. The fifth was frost, freezing the land in an instant. These are the Hershers. Oh the my god. Fate, Damn. The rest of the cycle of life and death. This is amazing. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after. I recognize that thought. Wow. All of them were broken. Ooh, okay. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered 12 sentinels and forged them into two bearers. Oh. The first was origin. <gasps> the second was end. Fuck. Okay. Hold. Dude. So these are literally the Hersha equivalents in Honkai. Oh my god. Does, is the Honkai in Honkai Star Rail? I know it's called Honkai Star Rail. But listen, I was kind of hoping the impact wasn't there. Because that's like not what we want. But then, yeah. Oh, shit. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Oh, Izumo. wow. It's Raiden! But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything. Oh. For the destruction of two worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. Oh. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie, an end that never existed. 
We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk. Until the last blade is forged in two. Wow! Not The imagery is stunning. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet, and yet. Allegra Clark has absolutely slayed that voice acting. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was amazing. You've got to be kidding me. So, does this imply then that the other characters in Honkai become the other Hershers? This kind of implies that all of the other Hershers got... Well, killed. And then all of the blades were taken and kind of forged into two, which is the origin and end, which, as we know, I'm pretty sure is meant to be Raiden. I want to say Kiana. I haven't quite finished Hawkeye Impact yet, so I don't know exactly, but I think it is meant to be Kiana, which would probably make sense to me. But if that's the case, does that mean she hasn't met Kiana yet? Is this like an angsty Raiden May without Kiana? This is what happens, Hawkeye, when you don't give Raiden Kiana. <laughs> We've seen what happens. Oh, mate. Okay. But that was absolutely incredible. So does that mean a Kiron? It's essentially the Hersher of Origin, but just in this alternative universe. And then it looks like they were saying about forming the Nought, which I don't know what that means, but that was so sick. It was awesome to get to see like all the different Hersher powers in all these swords. Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh my, it was so awesome to get to see it. I'm pretty sure as well the music did change. I feel like the music was was a bit familiar in some of the places, but I'm, I'm going to just double check. Because of a lie. These cheeky little bastards putting World Diva in here. If you don't know, World Diva is a song that plays during Honkai Impact when there's like a significant fight between Kiana and Mei. It's very upsetting, but oh my God, it's one of the most amazing moments in that game. It's so incredible and the stuff they say. Oh, but why have they put World Diva in here? I, I mean, they have to know that the Honkai Impact fans are gonna look into that and see some significance. I genuinely wonder if the Kiana equivalent is coming soon. I wonder if they're gonna like meet during Honkai Star Rail. Ah, oh my God, that'd be so cute if we get to watch them fall in love. That'd actually be adorable, stop. <laughs> just like Bronya and Stella, I'm just like, please, come on, let us have this. But yeah, that was, that was a gorgeous trailer. They did such a great job. Allegra Clark, absolutely killed it she did such a good job you can really feel the angst and the pain in akiron's voice and the acknowledgement of these events that have happened so my question is does this then mean the honkai is coming to honkai star rail or is the honkai already here and it has an equivalent or I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm far enough into the game to really understand all the lore implications of everything that I've seen here today, but this was nuts. This was fucking dope. I, I had a great time watching this trailer. <laughs> it's amazing. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments your theories about this video. Are you a Honkai Impact fan? Did you have the same reaction as me? You probably did. And yeah, what do you think this means for the law? Please let me know down in the comments below. If you also want to catch my playthrough of Honkai Star Rail, it's currently on this channel, so don't forget to check that out as well. I started from the very beginning. I've been playing my way through. So yeah, I'm having a great time. So yeah, don't forget to check that out as well. That'd be great. If you haven't already as well, there is a Discord and Twitter in the description, so you can also follow me on those too. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys very, very soon.